for this raid we've got a mostly armored and sheet metal at the bottom base as you can see there's already lighters on there i've already checked this thing out it should be a pretty cheap raid here the top part was kind of open it looked at first to be raided but you do come to a sealed off portion so i don't think it is Okay, so here we go. Armored ceilings all the way up here on the third floor. We've got a sheet door. I think this could be one of the cheapest pathways to take. Just one rocket to do this. And I wanted to go ahead and just try to shoot those lighters down. So we've got a stone ceiling that's definitely gonna be worth taking over garage doors. Okay, another sheet door. And an open pathway here going down. So far, seems like an extremely cheap raid. Okay, so that door is soft side. Let's just send four rockets here. Sheet metal ceiling, why are half of these armored? This path is taking me all the way around, but I think we're one door away. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna go straight down. I don't know what that pathway is. Here we go guys, boxes, furnaces, and a sleeping bag. Looks like we might have to take that sheet metal door. There's a TC though. If we can get this thing sealed off, that'd be nice. Okay, let's go ahead and start checking that loot. Furnace has got metal in it. Let's see, nine tech trash. Some random components in there. 6K sulfur. And we've got a TC here. Before we take this door, let's go ahead and check what's in here. Bit of sulfur in the furnace. And wow, only 2K GP. We're gonna need to see a lot more sulfur to profit. So let's see what's behind this sheet metal door. More coffins. And lots of coffins and boxes. And there's a flame trap. But we have privilege, we should be good. Come on, let's see some good loot. Seven tech trash. Two rockets, not gonna be enough yet. Oh, these guys are the least organized clan I've ever raided. Literally, come on guys, just combine your components in the one box. Here we go, 5C4, 12 rockets, 60 explosives. And with all that explosive ammo plus the GP and sulfur we've got, we're definitely gonna be into profit now. We'll take that much explosive ammo for now. Let's see what else they have. Ooh, half a coffin of L9s. A few more doors over here we might be able to take and find some more loot. All right. Oh, an M2 in here, nice. So it's looking like that sheet metal door obviously goes around to here. That garage door, I'm not sure. That probably goes to the front door. We'll double check when we get out of this base. But yeah, that's some decent loot there. At least we found something right there at the end to bring us in a profit. So I'm standing on top of a massive large furnace base here. I believe this is their main base right next to me. He's already got a hole in the wall right on the other side. I'll show you guys that in a second. I just wanted to check this base and see if there's any sulfur left in the furnaces. 
Now, just to make sure we can get in and out of here very quickly, I'm just gonna use 2C4 on the wall here instead of rocketing through these grates, because it can be a pain in the butt to ladder up and out of here. Okay, so they fit four furnaces in here. We've got charcoal, more charcoal. All right, yeah, it looks like they cooked up whatever they were cooking in here. Hopefully we can find some cooked up sulfur profit on this next base raid. And for TC, just a few bit of mats in there. So let's move on to the main or what I assume to be the main base. Like I said, there was already a hole drilled into the wall here. I don't know what the point of that was because none of the doors next to it were taken out. So here you go, all garage doors, one actually left open. Now if we can find a pathway down, that would be nice. Okay, there we go, there's the path. Looks like this was for secondary loot, nothing in here yet. Okay, just the same design here. Is this foundation or is this second floor? This is gonna be second floor. Need to go down one more. Okay, that's the pathway down. We've actually got coffins up here though. Uh, pretty much empty there. Saw an LR, some customs. And yeah, let's keep going down. We'll come back up to these if need be. Okay, what is this design? Kind of weird. There's a sleeper, some bags. Okay, straight into some coffins, yet another sleeper. Wow, just completely spread apart with loot. Four rockets, stack of explode ammo. Not gonna pay off just yet. And the same exact sign on all three floors. All right. That was the door. I like these ones next to the workbench. More boxes, there we go guys, TC. Really wanna get this thing sealed off. There we go, that should be good enough. So looks like this was the main loot back here. 3C4. Two more rockets. Guys seem a little bit poor. There we go, boys. Almost 100,000 uncooked sulfur ore. So they had the large furnace base, yet didn't bother to cook up their ores. All right. 56 tech trash alone. And for TC, a bit more sulfur ore, cooked sulfur, and 46 explosives. So yeah, definitely gonna pay off there with 100k sulfur ore. We still have a few more loot rooms here to check. Just weapons, and there were two more garage doors up top just in case. We'll take these down. Okay, yeah, just what I thought. Empty coffins didn't have the need to move their loot up here. All right, so let's go so far two raids two profitable loot rooms For this final raid first of all I wanted to give a shout out to whoever built this massive armored base here over at e6 Dude the HQM upkeep on that thing has to be like 50k metal on its own But that is not the raid we're gonna be doing guys that seems borderline impossible, especially if they're online We've got something completely opposite here behind me one armored wall, but the dude's got a wooden door on it So I wanted to see if this is going to be profitable Kind of like raiding these meme new bases that they don't really know how to build yet Sometimes you can profit sometimes you can come up big, but let's see what this dude's got Okay, that's a sheet metal door too.
And yet another double sheet metal door. Looks like a three rocket raid. There's nowhere else a loot could be. Okay, there we go. We are into the base two boxes. Let's go ahead and see if it's profit. We need to get three rockets to break even. Okay, a bit of components in there, LR. There we go, guys. We've doubled our stuff, two C4, four rockets, and about 400 explosive ammo. And for TC, can we get some sulfur? No. All right, well, I mean, I'm happy with that. At least we got something. Like I said, wasn't expecting much from that meme base. Anyways, that's gonna be where I'm ending it for this video, guys. I hope to see you tomorrow. Wish me luck.